pre-COVID, if you came here at about five o'clock on a Wednesday, it was packed. There would be a few rows deep at the bar and um, nonstop, nonstop making three, four cocktails at the same time. And um, I think that's what makes me sad is because I don't know uh, when the next time I'll ever feel that way. I'm in an accelerated nursing program, so this hit at a really inopportune time. Uh, I, I had to take out um, student loans to, to front the cost of that, uh, which I hadn't anticipated because I had been paying my uh, tuition as I went with my pay from the rag trader. It's stressful. Um, you, you go this long, I, I've been furloughed for seven months now. I have a job when, when capacity is you know, a little higher at 25%, you, you don't need a full staff. So, and I think that's what's most frustrating for people in the hospitality industry is we, we don't have any plan in, in action. We have nothing set in stone. Um, the beginning phases, they were very organized with what was opening when. And then it got to restaurants and it was kind of like, we'll, we'll deal with you later. You kind of have to figure out what's important and what you need uh, because it's, you, you don't know when the unemployment's gonna run out, when the Fed money is gonna be you know, taken away. Um, so I'm just kind of planning for the worst um, and just hoping for the best.